What's up, everybody? So me and my boy Scott here. And we start off with a bang. He hits me with a good rear takedown. So he was able to hook my leg. Even as I was trying to step over, he caught the other leg and just continued with it and pulled me down. Look at a way to start the roll there. Kind of wasn't expecting him to duck under and immediately hit that. He caught me with a little bang. Now I'm playing recovery with a butterfly guard. I end up hitting a little elevator sweep, butterfly guard sweep. So I was setting up on one side, but I felt his base really leaning. So I put my hook in on the other side, trap the arm, and I pull him on top and get the sweep. I was able to trap his arm and lift and off balance him um, on top, trying to work some passes. Scott's a longtime training partner of mine. I've been training with him for like 10 years. I believe he's around in his 50s. So we we're just having a nice playful roll here between two black belts and trying not to get hurt and stay safe between each other. Both of us like to just play around. So that was very good. Good frames right there. He was able to execute and create some space. Tries to catch my ankles, but he misses. He tried to come on top, but because I had his pants, it made it difficult for him. And I run around when I see the time. I threaten the arm lock just to make him respect it. So he went. He goes for an X choke, but because I have his pants, it's going to be hard for him to finish. He can still do some damage. That's why I throw my leg over because he has to respect the arm lock and let go of the choke. If he doesn't let go of the choke, that arm lock could be a problem. So now we're just playing a little seated guard here, trying to figure out inside position. He's going to come on top. I decide to try this time. I hit the X pass. So as I pop up here, I have his collar and I have his pant, and I end up stepping around and stepping over his leg as I push his leg out the way. So now I get a clean pass. I'm on top into a side control position. I believe right here, I think one of us is bleeding, so we kind of fast forward through, finally figure it out. Now we're back to training. So now I'm on top of a knee on belly style position, modified knee on belly. I switch sides, end up into a side control, keeping him pinned here, trying to prevent him from turning on top of me. I have my knee in his hip, my foot's posted out, keeping my weight on him. So I believe he tries to turtle. He's going to try turtle escape, and I run around. He tries to grab my leg, which opens up for a crucifix attack. And then I'm switching my feet. I'm trying to get his arm completely straight to arm lock, which looks like a catch. So as he comes up for this turtle, I run around to the other side. And he's trying to grab my leg for a, for a roll reversal. But when he does that, that leaves his arm out there, and I was able to snatch his leg up, or his arm up with my leg. And you don't always get this arm lock. It, this arm lock's kind of tough to get, but because of how his arm was positioned in my leg, I was able to feed him around and trap it. And so it turns into a straight arm lock. And it's a tight arm lock. It's not fun to be in. So he he uh, he got that one. Now we're starting back up in butterfly guard. I'm putting my foot on his hip so he can't just run toward me. I'm grabbing his sleeve right there just to keep some distance. I'm wanting to load him, but he does. He realizes it, backs out, grabbing that sleeve, putting the bicep so he can't come forward. He threatens a footlock here, but he doesn't really doesn't really have it. We're too far away. He grabs my pants, so I do a little shoulder roll to try to create some space. But he's doing a good job. He he saw me getting away, so he tried to come on top. But I was able to ankle pick him, put him back down. Now we both stand back up, and we do a little resetting here. Belt's getting fixed again. Now we're going back at it. So now we're fighting for grips, trying to get some standard grips in, trying to see what both of us are basing. So right there, I try a collar drag for a single. So I use the collar drag to snatch up the single leg. I typically like my leg a little bit deeper in. I want to trap it with my leg, but I missed it. But because my level was already changed pretty low, I was still able to recover the single leg. He was trying to do a reversal where he was going to throw me, but I followed with it, which put me on top. He tried for a little X pass and I backstepped, or he tried an X, X choke and I tried to backstep to get out. Puts us in this top position. My shin is across his hip here. If you notice, my foot is not all the way over. I know Scott likes to try to trap my ankle, so I don't want him to do that. So I'm just staying on top, waiting to see where he's going to go. I'm going to try to use a gift wrap or twisting arm position to pull him to the back, but I missed it. But as he escaped, I was able to regain it. And try it again. Sometimes that's the best time to use that gift rack back take is as someone is trying to escape, if you're able to connect it. Now I threaten an arm lock from the back mount. 
and I typically like to roll, and I do. So now I throw my leg over, and now we're into the seated arm lock position. So he's has his arms pretty tight here. His arm's not straightening. So one of my favorite ways to get that arm to try to straighten is to roll him. So I reach over, grab his ankle, pull it on top. Now we're into the seated arm lock position. And I'm going to try to unlock his arms. He's doing a good job. He pokes his head through. Curse my little short legs. I don't have very long legs. So holding that position with my feet crossed is sometimes st tough. Scott's smaller than me, so I can do it on him. But on most people, I, I can't really. But even having my feet crossed right here, it still causes him some problems. He still has to work to get out. I wanted to switch completely to the other side, but he was doing a good job of defending. So I just decided to accept the mount. He tries a good trap and roll right here, but I keep hooking. He tries to remove the hook every time, but I just keep reinserting it. It was a good attempt by him. So I feed his own skirt around his head, and I'm using it to straighten my arm, and that gets him to turn. So now he's completely on his side. I go for the twisting arm control again because I felt like I could feed it. This time I just go straight over for the arm lock. So sometimes I will threaten the back take from twisting arm and end up going to the arm lock. So I was thinking about taking this back, but because I saw, felt a little resistance, I switched, brought my hand back over the top and swung my leg over for the arm lock entry. And here I'm working on unlocking his hands. I use my body, connect his arm to my body to unpry it, unlock it, and we have an arm lock there. So I have to do sneaky things with guys like Scott. I can't just do straight up. I have to trick him. I got to make him think I'm doing one thing. So now we do a little turtle startup in this position. He's doing a good job. He's trying to set up a headlock setup, I'm trying to grab my head my arm. I thought I was going to try to get a single, and I end up do getting a single. I tried it for the first time, but I missed it. This time I was able to get it. And now I have his actual lapel fed between his legs, which is going to cause him a really hard time trying to shrimp. So I have my hips up high and my head down low, which is giving him a pretty good amount of shoulder pressure. I still have his skirt fed between his legs right here, which makes it hard for his hips to turn and face me. So once I get him to get his both of his shoulder blades down, now I can start to work. Trying to bait a paper cutter choke on my arm across. He ends up turtling to try to get out. And now I scoop up his arm, trying to keep that position. Decide to let go of the skirt. And I step over for the arm lock entry. So because I was holding both of his arms tight, it made it easy for my legs to step over. Like I said, I have short legs. I don't typically get to do that on too many people. But he did a good job of getting out. He poked his head through, sat up, turned toward the guard. It was a very good escape. So we're sitting up here. He's doing a good job at posturing. He has his hands right on my hips right here. I'm breaking his grips. He had it on my pant. Now I'm thinking about doing a sweep. That's why my hand went down low. Just trying to feel him climbing his legs. I'm always trying to climb up into the guard if I can. Keep the posture down. Keep his posture down. Climb my legs up high. Looking to try to set up an arm lock. Possibly. Yeah, I throw it over. Don't really catch it. So I feel him base back, so that's why I was going to try to sweep. He does a good job at shooting both hands under, trying to pass, but I was able to fight it off. I was able to recover, scoot my hips out enough so he couldn't lift it. I grabbed the ankle, put, put him down, and now I'm on top. So I have his pants here. makes it hard for him to do too much when I grab his pants. He can't really move his hips a lot. I step over, I pin his leg, now I'm on top of side control, and I believe that's in the roll. Thank you, guys. I'll see you all next time.